so excited today because we are in Hokkaido in Yoichi, which is a city about an hour from Sapporo, so. yeah, by car. And you can also get here by public transportation, but we opted to rent a car, which is easier with kids. But anyhow, we are at a whiskey distillery. It's the Nika Whiskey Distillery, which is home to the... It's where Japanese whiskey was born. Yeah. I feel so honored to be here today and I'm super excited about the tour. We signed up online. The tour is only offered in Japanese, unfortunately. So you can do the self-guided tour as well as um, they've got this audio guide app. So you can just do the QR code and then listen to a guide with headphones. The good thing about going on the guided tour is that you get to go inside places that you don't just by yourself. They do have the brochures in English and Japanese, so that's nice. And they give you a sticker in case you came here by car that says you put it on the designated driver. So if we know that person will not be drinking and we're all safe. And then these are your tour guide badges. So you don't look suspicious is what they said. Okay, so let's go towards starting. On the tour, you'll get a behind the scenes look at how Nika whiskey is made. We start off with the ingredients, only the best grains. And then we move on to the old coal-fired pot stills. Yes, they're still using this very traditional method. And this is exactly what adds the unique boldness and the toasty burnt flavors that only come out of this distillation process. The tour also takes you to the former residence of the founders, the Taketsurus. The final stop on the tour is the Whiskey Museum. We loved this place because not only does it cover the history of whiskey in Japan, but there are also some hands-on exhibits, which are always great for kids. Masataka Taketsuru was the first Japanese who mastered whiskey making, and he is now remembered as the father of Japanese whiskey. In 1918, he left Japan with an ambition to make genuine whiskey and set off on a pilgrimage to Scotland to unveil the secret of whiskey making. While in Scotland, he met and married a Scottish woman, Rita, who later immigrated to Japan to support her husband's dream of making fine whiskey in Japan. The museum dedicates a special section to the founder and his wife. This is now a very popular destination as NHK recently produced a TV series based on the Taketsurus. The whiskey that is made at this distillery has, since its beginning, received numerous awards and continues to be a favorite among both Japanese and international connoisseurs. After the tour, we're guided to the Tasting Hall, where you get to taste two types of Nika whiskey and their apple wine. This is the single malt Yoichi. Its alcohol content is 45%. Uh -huh. so, this is, so this is the one that they made here, it's the Yoichi one. This is a super Nika with an alcohol content of 43%. And What's the, like, why is it super? I don't know. Super, I don't know. Oh, they didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, they didn't too. say that. And this one's an apple wine, because back when um, the founder... Maka, Mata Casa? Ma, Mata Casa, I think? Back when the founder... Um, <laughs> Sorry, my Japanese is terrible. Back when the father of Japanese whiskey started making whiskey, it wasn't selling as fast as he thought. The Japanese weren't catching on very quickly. So he had to start making apple juice and jams. And they still adhere to that tradition and make apple wine. It smells really nice. 
Let me smell. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Are you gonna put any ice cubes in that? Yeah, I'm just gonna smell this. Uh -huh. See if I need that. Oh, that's nice too. Mm -hmm. Let me smell. Ooh, that smells delicious. And there you go, each one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, sorry. Yeah, the single malt. So this one has the most alcohol. And then they also tell you how you can do it. Um, how you can the best way to sample the drinks. So you can do like yeah, a twice up. Is, it, is that in English? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And then a highball is carbonated water, ice. If okay, so so you're going to try it with ice, no water. On the rocks. Uh huh. Just on the rocks. Then you get uh, three drinks, which is nice. Three samples. Yeah. Should I try one? Yeah, go ahead. What a fun day! Not only do you get to learn about whiskey and its history in Japan, but you also get to see how whiskey is made, and then you even get to taste the final product. So next time you find yourself in Japan, be sure to head up north and check out the Nika Whiskey Distillery in Yoichi. If you liked our videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.